When there's one exercise that's being used by pretty much every military, every athletic coach, then you should really pay it some attention. But you don't tend to see that much attention given to the burpee, at least not here on YouTube. And I think the reason for this is that it falls into a kind of no man's land. So you have your calisthenics aficionados who like to use controlled movements, like to hold these cool poses like planche and handstand push-ups, and they don't have much use for burpees. People who want explosiveness are more likely to use plyometrics done in a more shocking manner for lower rep ranges, and people who want to build strength are going to want to add more resistance. And so you don't tend to see burpees being promoted all that much. This is a shame because burpees are actually extremely valuable exercises, extremely versatile with a ton of amazing benefits. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. So obviously the main reason to do burpees is because they're a fantastic form of conditioning. When you do a burpee, your body is in movement the entire time. There's no point where you're stationary between reps, you don't lock out at the top of the movement, and it utilizes your entire body, not just a single limb. This, of course, jumps the heart rate up really high, really quickly, as your body has to try and get blood to all of the different working muscles. And so in this way, it can be used in a similar manner to a kettlebell swing. It can be used as part of a circuit or in one long, continuous series of repetitions. And this is a great way to get the heart rate up very quickly in a small amount of space without having to go running or something similar. And because you're using both the upper and the lower body, the heart has to work and produce this shunting effect to move the blood from the lower body to the upper body and then back again. And because there is some resistance, this is also a form of resistance cardio, which is even better at getting you to work even harder because you're not just moving the body, you're moving it against a little bit of resistance, in this case, your own body weight. And this is also a great way to burn extra calories, particularly at the end of a workout as a finisher, but without risking cannibalizing your muscle because you're still using it, this can protect it to a certain degree. So yeah, Bruce Lee actually used something called peripheral heart action training. And what this basically meant was that he was alternating the use of different body parts within a circuit. So instead of using a bodybuilder approach and doing all of his arm exercises together, then all of his leg exercises together, he'd instead go from an arm exercise to a shoulder exercise to a leg exercise. And by doing this, he was able to ensure that the blood was constantly circulating around the body, thereby providing a form of conditioning at the same time as his strength training. And so the great thing about burpees, of course, is that you're getting the same shunting effect within a single exercise as you alternate between upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, and that's extremely valuable. In other words, you're not just training your ability to lift something really heavy once, you're training your ability to exert strength over and over and over again without fatiguing, which is exactly what you have to do in real life combat situations as well as in sports. Often strength endurance is more important than max strength because when do you ever get the chance to use your maximum strength? And this of course is also why the military and athletic coaches like the burpee so much because it also builds strength endurance. I got rained on, it happens, we're okay. So to perform a burpee, most people know how to do this, but there are some little checks we can use to make sure we're doing it properly. Basically what you're gonna do is to drop down into a squatting position from standing up, then you're gonna sprawl, that means kick your legs out behind you into a push-up position. You'd be starting at the top of the push-up and then lowering yourself down to perform a single rep. As you push yourself back up, jump back up to the hands and then jump straight up in the air and then land softly by absorbing that impact with your knees. This should look like one nice seamless movement. So as you drop down, you're already moving into the lower position of the push-up. And then as you jump back up, you can launch yourself straight back into the air using some of the momentum from the top of the push-up. Of course, you want to make sure that you're not sagging your waist. You want to maintain a nice strong core at the same time. This is one of the benefits of the exercise. It's also a core exercise. At the same time, when you jump your legs up to your hands, you want to be in a kind of squat position and then jump up from there. You don't want to be folding your body over down in half. You hear some people quibble as to whether or not your feet should land on the inside or the outside of your arms. That really doesn't matter so much. So that, of course, is one of the other advantages of the burpee. It's pretty much a full body movement because you're training the legs with that squat, the upper body, the chest, the shoulders, the triceps with the push-up. And then at the same time, you're training the core by holding yourself nice and rigid. And then by straightening yourself back up, there's even a slight hip hinge movement here, a slight triple extension from the ankles, hips and knees. So you're practicing your ability to jump up high. So in theory, this is the perfect exercise that's gonna hit pretty much everything. It's burning fat, it's improving your work capacity and your cardio, your strength endurance. At the same time, it's training nearly every muscle in your body. Of course, there are some limitations though. Firstly, it's not really every muscle in your body. 
there's a very slight pulling element. Some people say they feel it in their lats because you're also pulling your body towards the hands when you jump forwards. So it is one of the closest things you can get to a pulling exercise using body weight, but it's really not much. It's not gonna replace a pull up or lat pull down. At the same time, there's no rotation. You guys know that I love rotation and there's no single leg strength. So yeah, there's no such thing as one exercise that will train everything. But the truly great thing about the burpee is the sheer number of variations because there's so many variables to play with. You can create all kinds of different variations to target different muscles and to offer different benefits. So for instance, if you want to add a rotational aspect to this movement, then you can combine it with a kick through. That's what it's called in Animal Fly, I believe. It's also sometimes called a, a kick sit or a sit through. Basically, it's gonna look like this. Now you have rotation. You've also got man makers where you perform the movement like a devil press holding dumbbells. But what you're gonna do is support your weight at the top of the push-up movement on just one hand, row on the other side using anti-rotational stability in the core to prevent yourself twisting. Then do the other side, push up, jump up, clean press and back down. That trains loads of stuff. It doesn't take a rocket science to work out how to get single leg strength in there. You're just gonna do your burpee on a single leg, like so. By the same token, for more of that sweet anti-rotation, you can perform the whole movement on a single arm instead. Also, if you want more of a pulling movement, you can also perform this underneath a pull-up bar, jump up, grab the pull-up bar, perform a pull-up, drop down, burpee, you get the idea. Want to make the movement more explosive, more about that jump height? Simple, you just jump higher. And of course there's easier variations. You don't have to do the push-up. You don't have to jump your legs out, you can move them out more slowly. Ultimately, this just involves getting down into that position and then getting back up. And if that's all you can do, then that's a fantastic starting point that will build you up to much more impressive movements and give you that kind of resilience and core strength in the process. Want more of a chest hypertrophy focus, want to build bigger pecs and triceps, then just perform more push-ups in between each of the jumps. You can do this with a Navy SEAL burpee where you bring your knee up as well on the second two push-ups for a total of three push-ups per rep. Obviously a big limitation of this if you're looking to build strength is the amount of resistance, which isn't that much, and also the range of motion, which is pretty short. The time under tension is pretty short and there's big gaps in between. So if your main interest is bodybuilding or building pure strength, then the burpee probably isn't gonna cut it for you. However, there are some ways, of course, to add weight. You can just wear a weight vest, for instance. You can slow down the movement if you wanna focus more on strength. Alternatively, you could even hold a pair of dumbbells and do something like a devil press. And the other thing to consider is that strength isn't all about adding resistance and creating micro tears, creating muscle damage. It's also about learning motor patterns and reinforcing those pathways. So essentially, by doing so many push-ups and so many air squats and jumps, you're able to grease the groove and become better at those movements. So you become stronger in that sense. You just become more efficient, and especially at bracing your core, especially when fatigued. So this does translate to better performance that has to do with power and strength. Another great thing about the burpee and movements like it is that this is a hybrid exercise. That means you're actually combining two or more exercises into a single repetition. So in this case, you're combining a push-up and a squat and a jump all together and there you have your hybrid. The great thing about this is that it trains you to not only perform those movements well, but also trains you to perform the transition between those movements, to handle things like momentum and the differing levels of fatigue you have throughout the exercise. Basically, instead of performing one exercise in a static location over and over again, which isn't how real life works, you're moving dynamically from one position to another one quickly and reacting to various different factors. 
that's how we move in the real world, that's how we move in sports, in combat. So of course, it provides a more resilient strength, a more robust strength. And this translates to better, more functional performance. And of course, if you can't choose between these different awesome variations, then you also have the opportunity to just mix and match. You can do this by just improvising and going with the flow, jumping from a kick through to a single leg burpee to a high up jump to a single arm burpee, whatever else. Or you can follow a set routine that you know is gonna hit every single body part, every single movement pattern. And again, this isn't going to provide you with lots of hypertrophy, lots of muscle damage, max strength, but in terms of building resilience, learning motor patterns and strengthening your core and burning fast at the same time, there are a few things better than a insane routine like this. And so that's why I think everyone should be doing the burpee. So I hope you found this somewhat useful and interesting, guys. If you did, then please leave a like and share it around. That helps me out immensely. I really appreciate it. Do you use burpees? Comment down below and let me know why not if you don't and what your favorite variation is if you do. There's many more. There's two pump and three pump burpees, bodybuilders, all sorts of different things. I'd love to hear what your favorites are. Maybe there's some that you invented. If you like this kind of training, then be sure to check out my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training. It focuses on this kind of thing, building a more performant body, not just muscle, not just strength, not just cardio, but all round better performance, even cognitive performance, because you know that's what I think fitness is, training all of your capacities to be as good as they can be. There's a discount on right now whilst everyone's dealing with the pandemic. Man, I've been saying that for a long time. Or if you'd just like to learn more about functional training and how it applies to you and everybody else, then you could also check out my print book, Functional Training and Beyond. It's available on Amazon, on Audible, and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. Hit the bell notification button if you want to be notified each time we upload a video. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a ton, and bye for now.